Can you tell which one of these rocks is low poly model? Today you will learn how to turn your high poly model with all the fancy details into a low poly model but to keep all the details there. So let's do it. Remember the previous episode where you learned how to create this really cool rock or stone out of a cube or any other mesh that you like? Well that's cool but if you go to edit you can see that this is really dense mesh, really high poly mesh and if you go right here and turn on statistics you can see that we have around 200 and around 30,000 faces. It's an enormous number and if we make a copy of this rock and make some really cool scene we will have millions of faces and Blender can hiccup, fro uh, get frozen etc and you will be stressful and maybe Blender will break eventually etc. So we need to lower the amount of polygons but to maintain the same details that we have right here. So how to do that? Really simple. First of all I want to rename this to rock underscore high like this is high amount of polygon and then shift D to make a copy press escape to leave it at the exactly same position this is really important they need to overlap and I will rename this to rock low obviously and now let's turn this from high amount of polygons to low so there are several ways how you can do it I will show you two we can add decimate modifier and lower the ratio here so for example 0.002 Let's see, press enter and we will go to 915 faces. This is decent and we can work with this. Amazing. So that's one way how you could do it. Another way is to go right here and go to remesh and we can remesh using voxels and the higher number here, the lower amount of faces we'll have. So we'll go for example 0.2. Let's see and this will bring, yeah, we need to press voxel remesh obviously and this will bring us to 638 faces and this is decent this is what we can work with and from 230,000 faces all the way to 638 amazing so this is a huge difference now in order to transfer all these details to this low poly version first we need to unwrap this unwrapping means that uh, imagine that you have a really cool cube cardboard box and you need to open it completely unwrap it and then you can place some really cool nice shiny paper some textures whatever on that wrapped unwrapped part you can wrap it back and you have really nice like a gift box something like that so we need to unwrap this this rock in order to paste some maps and uh, some textures back on so this is really simple we can go to uv editing here and just press A to select all and currently this is empty. We can go into UV here or just press U on a keyboard and we can use smart UV project. For this project this is really enough. I will go with uh, margins a little bit higher so that I don't have overlapping and this is like we use the scissors and cut out the certain parts of the rock and just place it flat on the surface. So this is it. And now that we have that we can go back to the layout Remember you need to have low poly version unwrapped, high poly you don't need to worry about. So now let's go to, let's split the screen here, okay. And here I will go from 3D viewport to shading editor and to hide this menu and create new material for this rock, perfect. Now what we need, we need two nodes, shift A and we need image texture, okay. One node there and shift A and we need normal map node because we will bake a normal map. We will use all the details from the high poly version and bake it to a normal map and apply it to low poly version and then we will have free details. That means that we will render this uh, for free in manner of uh, calculation etc. It's, uh, it's basically having a fake details there that will look real. So you will see. So normal to normal and color to color. Okay, perfect. Now go here and create a new map. I will name it rock underscore normal. Okay, and I will go here and select both of these and just multiply by four because I want to go for from 1K to 4K resolution. The higher resolution you have, the more details you can make and that's cool. And we can leave everything as it is, press OK and switch color space for SR, from sRGB to non-color, that's important. So you want to have non-color here, perfect. And now we can add optional modifier if you want. For some examples, this is really useful. Here it's not too much, but I want to show you that you can try that. Shrink wrap modifier to wrap 
vertices from low poly around high poly version, but because they are pretty much the same, it will not have any difference, but let's show the high poly version, go to the shrink wrap and just select the target rock high. That's it, you're done. You can apply it if you want and that's it, you're completely done. Now, we want to go to the render tab here, go from EV to cycles, this is important, and you can go with CPU or GPU, whatever. Uh, if you have a nice GPU card, you can do that. And basically we can have here for the render 128 samples. It doesn't need to have too much samples because we are now just rendering geometry. But we want to go to the bake here because we want to bake normals. And from bake type, from combined, we want to switch to normals, that's it. Leave this as it is, bake from multi-resolution. There is another way how we can do exactly the same thing. Bake from multi-resolution, but uh, I will show you a different way. So let's go selected to active. And now we need to select this one and control and select low version. So select high version, high poly version, control and select low poly version. This is really important in order for this to work. And we can set the cage. Cage is basically, let me show you really quickly here. If you select the low poly version, make a copy, shift D and just, let's hide this, and just make it big enough to cover the high poly version. So this is the cage. Inside that cage, it will be baked, um, the maps will be baked. So this is useful sometimes, but because we have this only, only the rock, we can skip this and instead of that, I made so many copies. And instead of that, I can go with extrusion. So 0 0.5 meters, same like cage, making extrusion. So this is it. And before we bake this, I want to go to the high poly version and right click or W and shade smooth. Also to low poly version, shade smooth in order to make maps better. So if we don't do the shade smooth, the maps will have this crazy geometry. So Shade smooth is important and make sure that here the normals, the auto smooth is not checked. You don't want that because you will have all these things. So not checked on both versions. So see, not checked. Perfect. And then remember, select the high version, control and click to select the low poly version. Go here to the bake. Everything is set. Extrusion is set. Select it to active set and just click bake. And now, as you can see right here, the blender is start baking this and in a matter of few moments or minutes, depends of your uh, specs of computer and of course the resolution of the normal map that you set, we will have normal map baked. I will pause this for a moment and come back soon. And the map is baked and in order to see it, we can go for example to a shading tab and here we have a image viewer node and we can go right here and choose our rock underscore normal and this is how our normal map looks. Perfect, it's already applied so we can hide the rock high and this is it. This is our low poly version with all the details. And in order to see this better, I can just change the material. So let's make it darker for example. Let's reduce the roughness a little bit and maybe add a metallic just to see the details better. See, this is amazing. And if you go to the render here, everything is dark so I will go with some HDRR, HDRI map. So this looks amazing. And in order to compare it with uh, high poly version, see, so let's, let's change the material here. Add, uh, I want to add the same material, but I need to make a copy and I need to delete this because this doesn't need to have all these things. So. Let's move it, let's go to the top view and move it. Show this one, move it here. So we have one beside other and can you tell the difference which one is high poly, which one is low poly? Let me just hide this background. So this is nice. And if we go back to the layout, let me show you a trick. You can still see this as a low poly with with, if I hide this, with 638 faces. But if you go to the shading here, you will see the full resolution. And if you go to the render here, you will see everything. So as you can see, low poly, VS, high poly, 
but with transfer details. So basically, if I just rotate like this, can you say which is which? I have no idea. They look amazing, both of them. So this is it. Another version to do it with the multi-resolution is again really similar. If you want, I can show you really quickly now. Okay, if you insist, I will show you really quickly. So basically, it's uh, the same. I will make a copy of uh, this and uh, and 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 go right here. And this is how it looks. So we went to this part and instead of so we have we have the map. This is rock underscore normal number two. So we created a new map. Everything is cool, non color mode. So everything is exactly the same like previous way. But now we need to go to multi resolution tab here, add uh, not modifiers and add a multi resolution here and then add a shrink wrap modifier. You need to do that this in this order and choose here the rock high. Perfect. And this is not good because you can see the rock high is not in the position. So make sure to align it. I will bring it back to where it was. So now I can hide it and go back to this one. Choose the rock high. Perfect. And just with the multi resolution, you can subdivide it until you think it's cool. So I can go with four or maybe five levels. Yeah, five is better. And now this looks like like the original high resolution uh, version. But instead of level of youth board five, we'll press zero. And we want to apply a shrink wrap. So shrink wrap apply. That's it. We only want to have a multi res modifier here with these settings and go right here, go back to bake and instead of select it to active, go and set bake to multi res. Make sure that this image texture is selected. If not selected and just click bake. And this time we don't need to select any of these together. This can be like that and wait for a few moments in order to this normal map be baked and I will show you the result. Okay, so let's go here to the shading and this is it. We have really nice result. If we disconnect this, we'll have not so good result, but back with this, we will have all the details back also to the render tab here. Again, all the details are here and this is exactly what we want. If we want to compare it with this one again, is the same. So maybe here is a little bit better visible. So this is high poly, this is low poly. And now what you can do is to go to the modifiers here and just apply this multi res, you don't need it anymore. And this is it. And you can see we have 638 faces, we can just make a copy of this as many as we want for our scene, we can make some really cool scene, I'm just randomly making this. But our viewport will not freeze because we have, we have just 6030 uh, 380 faces. This is really low amount of faces for this. And basically we have all the details. And if we made this amount of copies for from the high poly version, we will have millions of faces and it will be totally different story. But this is really, really cool and really, really handy to know. And in a lot of situations, you can uh, save your day by transferring data uh, details practically from uh, high poly to low poly version with normal maps and make uh, game ready models like that. Read guys, let me know down there in the comments what you think about these episodes and just practice and uh, enjoy making things in Blender. See you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.